sometimes when you're trying to evaluate an indefinite integral, one method of integration will not suffice. You'll have to use several methods of integration to arrive at an answer. This integral right here is such an example. So let's start with, okay, we have the integral of arc tan of 5x dx. Hmm. Well, we're on a row of by parts. Let's try by parts. Let's see what comes out. As we know that if we differentiate the arc tangent of 5x, the arc tangent goes away for a rational function, much simpler than an inverse trigonometric function. So this on the surface looks like a by parts will work. So we let u be arc tan of 5x. As always, everything else is dv. So we must find du. So differentiate u with respect to x. And here be careful. If you differentiate the arc tangent, you get 1 over the argument squared plus 1. So if you square this, you get 25x squared plus 1. But that's not it. This is just the derivative of the arctangent function. By the chain rule, we have to multiply what we have so far by the derivative of what's left over, which is 5x. The derivative of 5x is 5. So, our du equals 5 over 25x squared plus 1. Multiply across by dx, dx. So we have our du. v is trivial, right? v is the integral of dv. If you integrate dx, you get x. So v is quite simply x. So now we have all we need to apply by parts. So the integral of u dv is u v. I'll write the v first. So x arc ten of 5x. minus the integral of v x times du. So if you multiply v times this, you'll get 5x over 25x squared plus 1. Now if you want, 5 is a multiple of the numerator, you can factor it outside. Oh, and sorry, this is arc tan, of course, of 5x. This is our u. So we have x arc tan of 5x minus 5 times the integral of x over 25x squared plus 1 dx. This completes integration by parts. Now what? Well, as always, we ask, is the new integral we obtained by applying integration by parts easier than the original one? Well, clearly the answer is yes, because we've went from an inverse trigonometric function to a simple rational function. The question is now, how do we integrate this rational function? Well, if you notice, the denominator is a quadratic, the numerator is a linear polynomial. So up to a constant multiple, the derivative of our denominator is our numerator. This is the perfect setup for a u substitution. Now we've already used u for arc tangent. Of course, as this is still a function of x, we could ignore by parts and use u again. Just to, for the fun of it, I'll use a different variable. I will let w be our denominator. Differentiate w with respect to x. And you'll get 2 times tw 25 is 50. x. Multiply by dx. So dw equals 50x dx. Our numerator is x dx. So isolate x dx by dividing by 50. So 1 over 50 dw is x dx. And now we're good to go. We can perform our u substitution. Of course, this stays the same, right? 
this substitution we understand is only being applied to the integral. There's no need to do anything here, it's already a function of x. So that's done. So let's replace. So the 25 x squared plus 1, that's just w, so we have 1 over w. And we're left with the x dx, which is 1 over 50 dw. We can factor out the 1 over 50 outside the integral, as it is a constant multiple, but we'll have 5 over 50, which is of course 1 over 10. And then we're left with a very simple integral. The integral of 1 over w, dw, is just the ln of w in absolute value. And we add the arbitrary constant of integration. But don't forget that since we had initially an integral with respect to x, the final answer must be a function of x exclusively. So we must replace w by 25x squared plus 1. As this is always positive, we can drop the absolute value. And so the final answer is x arctangent of 5x minus 1 over 10 the ln of 25x squared plus 1, of course, plus c. And so we're done. As always, you could check if you differentiate this function, you should get back the original function that is arctan of 5x. And the point, of course, here is simply that sometimes you must use multiple methods of integration to arrive at a final answer. We obtain, we use by parts to obtain the integral of a simple rational function. And we see that we could solve this integral with a simple quote unquote u substitution, but of course the variable we use is irrelevant. You could have used z, t, y, it doesn't matter. So we apply the substitution, we got a trivial integral, and then in the end we replaced in terms of x. And that's it.